This is our Dave Castro. <laughs> see, our look-alike. I can see it. And equally as fit. That's right, Dave, I called you out. <laughs> Just look at our video. I know you won't. <laughs> All right. Welcome to another riveting episode of Tuesdays with the Coach. I am the Coach. My name is Red. This is Dave. He's our smelly athlete for the afternoon. He just finished 18.2, so he's not feeling too good about himself. So, that, you know, low self-esteem, <laughs> um, damaged pride, uh, bruised knees, and um, a lack of shame is definitive of Vikings. And 18.2, 18 like, just make sure you fit inside the box that is us. So, without further ado, we're going to be going over the dumbbell squat, as uh, he's just got done doing. Not bad technique, but we're going to correct it a little bit. <laughs> All right, kids. Now, as the first thing you do in any good workout, or any bad workout, really, I mean, it's just what you do before you work out, you need to get warmed up. Uh, so now we're going to pretend like he is dry and, and, and cold, but we're going to start uh, one of my favorite things and one of the most practical things to do when you're going to start any squatting workout uh, is air squats. That was a bug. <coughs> Protein. Uh, you guys do air squats. I recommend, it doesn't matter how many you do, just be sure you do enough to get a good burn in your butt. Be sure you feel your butt, butt muscles activate. Uh, you have kind of like the more power morphin, the mighty morphin power rangers, but rangers, not rangels, rangers. As you're squatting, you will feel them actually activate, and when you hear that noise, you can continue with the workout. Kind of like Mario. Very good, very good. Taut buttocks, great hams. He's in it. Give us a few more. Slowly, squat down. Be sure your 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 hip breaks your knee, the knee line. We don't want any pansy squats here. Those are not acceptable. And then you stand back up. Full extension of your hips. If you do not fully extend the hips, you will be no repped. And you will be shamed on Facebook and Instagram and other forms of media as well. Maybe the five o'clock news. I know it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's big. All right. Uh, after you're warmed up, on a serious note, after you've done maybe three or four sets of 20 air squats, uh, you want to go over some banded, banded monster walks. Uh, we've gone over a lot of glute activation before, but this is, uh, you know, just a quick reminder. A quick reminder in case you don't feel like thumbing through. Um, all right, uh, we'll start with this one. All right. He's going to perform a couple of monster walks, or monster lunges, or side lunges, or side walks, or banded stretches. Uh, you keep the band kind of in between your hands. You're going to step through part of the band with your right foot. And again, I like the monster. Okay. And then he is going to top the band until it's nice and tight. He's going to bend his knees. Don't forget to bend your knees when you're doing these. Okay, now, he's going to sidestep to the left, keeping his toes pointed forward. Sidestep again. Do not let this leg snap over towards the middle of your body. Be sure you maintain control of your left and your right legs at all times. So. A big step with this, uh, medium step with this one. There, hold, and then slowly bring this one in. Did you see that, kids? <laughs> one more time. Slight move to the left, and then a controlled move on the right. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. Moving on. You may release the band now. <laughs> Okay. All right, now, moving on to the dumbbell portion of the workout. That'll work. Our Viking dog will, will take care of that. All right, now, for safety's sake, clean the dumbbell up to your shoulders. Just a good old, a good old clean, just 
lift the dumbbells up. It's a great form. There you go. There's no special way to, to rest the dumbbells on your shoulders. You can keep it right here. You can be a retard like me. You can put them top down, or like a like little peg down so it digs into your shoulders. I didn't know any better this morning. I learned. You can rest them on your shoulders like this, which, genius, genius. That way you're not burning your wrist and your forearms out during the workout. You want to be focusing on, you're not just catching on fire, not your wrist or your forearms. Now, now that Dave has uh, the dumbo situated how he likes it on his shoulders, he's going to demonstrate full squattage. Again, with the hips breaking the plane of the knee. Wonderful. Hold on. No. Bring him up. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> All right. Again, bring it down. Breaks the plane of the knee, and then he brings it back up. Just like that. Just like that. Full extension of the hip. Now that's too. called a bro belt. As you saw, that's a bro belt, yes. Oh, we need to demonstrate the bro belt. That's, that's, a, that's a key portion of Viking. Come here, come here! Don't you get 45? <laughs> All right, kids are back. All right, now that was a, a dandy demonstration of a dumbbell squat. He had. His feet were planted, he had great uh, depth. He went down, he broke the plane of the knee. Whenever you see someone squat and they're just like, just sticking it out a little bit, they're just trying to show off the rump in the gym. They're just like, hey ladies, what's up? Or hey fellas, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, Whatever. You don't know who's watching. Uh, so, uh, but when they break the knee, right past here, this line must be broken for it to be a rep. Or we will not rep you! Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then of course, one more time, uh, full extension of the hips at the top, squeeze your buttocks. Give it a nice little top little <clears throat> And we want to see your clothes actually flex inside. Uh, one last thing before we go, kids. We want to demonstrate the bro belt. This sounds like a joke until you need it. And then it is the best thing on earth. Uh, he will get ready for his dumbbell squat again. Any good coach has this look on his face when he's standing behind him. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fear not, Dave. I will keep distance. Now, rest your hands on the waist. Don't get too close. It's gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird. On the belly, remember, you're not going, you're there for mostly emotional support and for relieving the mind, because your mind is heavier than the weights. Sometimes, sometimes you just have too much weight. Sometimes you need to calm down. <laughs> All right, now we're going to squat together. <coughs> squat. Right, one, two, go down. This feels good. Okay, bro belt initiated around the waist. We're going to stand up together. Stand. Okay, now how was that order? <laughs> okay, that's it, kids. Thanks for tuning in to Tuesdays with the Coach. This is Dave. I'm Red. Mike's over there taking a nap again. I don't know why he's our main coach. <laughs> Pays the bills, but besides that, it's like, what are we having for? <laughs> All right, tune in next week with Tuesdays with the coach is. <laughs> Minor detail. <laughs>